Riz, is there anything you'd like to eat? Yeah, a big whole cake. If you know what I mean. I'm just kidding. Don't, 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 don't take it. Hey guys, it's Gabby and I'm back for the Prices of Everything. Before we get into it, I'd like to apologize for the slow uploads because honestly, I've been sleeping in on edits and it takes time for me to do these videos for you guys, but don't worry, I'm going to try to be better. Try to be better. But yeah. We're back with the prices of everything, and I think the last time we stopped, what was it? These girls bullying us? But we're not gonna be the bully. Well, yeah, we're not gonna be the bully, but we're not going down without a fight. That said, and also we met that new bodyguard. I don't know why he was in the library, but he he seems like a bodyguard to me. You know what I mean? I don't know why you're in the library. If you're not reading, you're probably a bodyguard there. Just saying. Hopefully we see him. But yeah. Um, and with that said, let's get into it. What does she mean? If it's right, it's right. And if it's wrong, it's wrong. What is she saying? What? I just came in. Don't you think she's acting a bit too pretend? pretentious just because she's top of her class I don't know what's going on order not exactly incorrect but not entirely accurate either then how would you translate it trude speaking in Berlinese there are no Berlinese <laughs> after ambassador Livingston was dispatched to Gallia he aimed to foster better relations by implementing a policy that was popular among the locals However, the funding from his home country was limited, and Livingston was murdered after completing depleting the uh, allocated funds. She's wrong! <laughs> oh my god, if I was in that class, I would have been like, I would have been all red. Magara translated Kinje as a personal name, but in Berlinese, its pronunciation is actually Kanje? Look at him. He's so impressed. Additionally, the word she translated as windmill is actually referring to a consistent flow of events within a defined range. So I interpreted the text to mean that Ambassador Livingston was murdered because of his failed policy. Everybody looking at their notes like, she right? <laughs> so you went for a meaningful rather than literal translation. You take has your take has a lot of personal interpretation. But I figured that was what you were looking for. Hmm. <laughs> Since you mentioned taking into account the context and the underlying situation. Stop! <laughs> and since this class is focused on diplomacy Berlinese, I thought you wanted a more meaningful translation, given your background as a diplomat. Why do you think we study foreign languages? To communicate with people from other nations. Exactly, right? <laughs> if that were the case, you could just use an inter interpreter or the common language Redain? But why do we invest time in studying another country's language? I, I don't know. <laughs> to gain an advantage in diplomatic engagements. Correct. If it gets you. You should be proud. I would be proud like I would laugh. <laughs> yeah. You cannot gloss over a single word. Remember, it's not just about the surface details. You must decipher the deeper significance behind the text. Taking things at face value might lead to a serious mistake. You jealous? You jealous? Nerys Trude understands this fact, which is why she is able to take this class with all of you. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I figure she was just putting on airs because of her top grades, but I guess she really is smart. If she's that skilled, it might sense for her to be in this advanced class, no matter what grade she's in. Well, Magara Lecondros. I only take students who can keep up with my class. You got into the class on Madame Hoffman's recommendation, yes? Yes, sir. 
Stay after class for a quick level test. <gasps> You got in trouble, you got in trouble. So sir, Voltaire, then what about that first year in front of in the front? Shouldn't she be tested as well? No. And then have you been listening to a word I've been saying? <laughs> Apparently not. Neris has already proven herself. Exactly. Pay attention, Anim. What will happen if I fail the test? You'll be moved to a class more suitable for your level. <laughs> Here at the academy, we want to make sure you're in the right educational environment. After all, you can't rely on the student next to you for all the answers. Oh. If he gets it wrong, so do you. Really? I can't believe this. I never should have trusted this moron would have the right answer. Hey, you're stuck. You're stuck with it. You stuck. You stuck. Cheer up, Maggie. I heard from one of the upperclassmen that there was nothing wrong with your translation. Nair's Trude and Sir Voltaire were just picking on you over nothing. Don't be sad, Magara. This is all Sir Voltaire and Trude's fault. They're both so insufferable. Why, why are you looking at Look over there. I should have taken private lessons like the Duke's children's do. I guess it's my fault for not being prepared. Oh my, Magara. You're so humble. You did nothing wrong. She's right. Anyone who took private lessons like that would be able to get first place. It's not like you received private tutoring either, Riz. I forgot she called her that. What's their problem? She only forced herself into that class because she envied you, Riz, and she got kicked out because she didn't measure up. So why is she resorting to lies to make everyone feel sorry for her? Because she envied me. <laughs> Reflecting on it now, Magara did treat me differently from the other children. She held from the prestigious house of Lacandros, a beautiful girl whose violent eyes embodied the esteem and rare traits of House Elandria. Then there was me, a lowly daughter of a lesser noble who came into her world. Not only did I possess genuine magneta eyes, but I also outperformed her academically. As you should! Ultimately, it seems all my mis- why did, why did I get stuck there? Uh, ultimately, it, ultimately, it seems all my misfortune began with these eyes. Girl, I wish I had your eyes. Actually, would they even look good at me? I don't know. I don't see it. <laughs> Riz looks upset. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It makes sense, considering Nerys is the brightest among us. She's also refined, graceful, and mature. She's discerning enough to avoid befriending air-headed brown nosiers like Ang Hard. Obviously, she wouldn't appreciate me saying something so crude, even if it was meant to comfort her. <laughs> what the heck is happening over there? <laughs> oh, she has an idea. How long the camera's going? What the heck? Okay. Yeah, she has an idea. <laughs> Upper opportunities to get closer to her. Riz, I'm thinking of hosting a party. Won't you come? Sure. I, I mean, we need it. G come on now. <laughs> a, a party? Yes, you'll have so much fun. It could be just the two of us, or we can invite others. Are my man's gonna be there? <laughs> what do you say? I don't get her. <laughs> That's her first response. I don't get it. It's not like I've done anything in particular for her. So why does she treat me like her friend? Girl, you need her. In your life. Come on. Perhaps I should agree to go. After all, I don't entirely mind her kindness. Alright, I'll go. Really? This is so exciting. We're going to have so much fun. Could you please let go of me? Your Highness. Oh, she's pretty. Natasha Grunhal. <laughs> okay, Natasha Grunhal. Daughter of Duke Grunhal. Here are the answer sheets from the first year students you requested. Oh. 
Great, another hot man. <laughs> Thank you, my lovely Tessie. Let's see, where is she? Nerstrude, Nerstrude. Ah, here we are. Hmm. Oh, -ho. this is certainly is interesting. Why is it interesting? Is there something peculiar about the answer sheets, Your Highness? Oh, would you like to take a look? <laughs> <laughs> that. Stop! Now see. That's the guard! That's the guard! Take a look for yourself. The girl with blonde hair. The one your family sponsored. Got a perfect score. Abelius Bisto, crown prince of the Bista Empire and Neri's husband in her previous life. Okay, remind me who that is. <laughs> Did a first year student really write this? How can someone so young have such penmanship? The content is meticulously arranged. Even the sentences are well structured. I couldn't agree more. Maybe someone really did help her cheat. Don't lean like that, okay? I I've seen edits. Okay, just though. Y'all know. I see. You're trying to test me, Your Highness. Do you honestly think we would go to such lengths for a distant relative? Yes. I knew you wouldn't. I only wanted to check because of the complaint. I asked Henry Voltaire and the other instructors too. Instructors. <laughs> and they all say that she writes well beyond her age and has no trouble keeping up with the advanced classes. Did you provide tutoring as well? No, we only just learned of her existence not long ago. Okay. What's the problem here? She's smart, so what? She's not an illegitimate child from the temple either. There goes that freaking word I hate. Not as far as we know. Really? Then st stop with smirking. Why are you smirking every time? A pretty girl that was fortunate enough to be born with magnet eyes. That's all I thought there was to her. Yeah, you can't have her! But if she's this intelligent, she might be more useful than I thought. Oh my god, I don't like him. We already hate Romeo. Hey you! Oh, oh library. <sighs> Just look at him. So graceful. Fuck. Did you look into her? Of course. I missed you, my precious master. Master? I have a master bodyguard? <laughs> Enough with your flattery. I'm busy, so get to the point. What did you find? Nothing suspicious. <laughs> what? Her mother is from a disowned offshoot of House Alondria. Her father is a low ranking knight. That's the extent of it. She has no connections to the Emperor, and there's almost no chance she's a spy. I'm sure she, you're aware since you met her, <laughs> but she hasn't received any formal training. <laughs> So you're saying she really did stumble upon this place coincidentally? I don't know why y'all questioning. Stop. <laughs> Here. Here, where I exchange codes with my men. I don't think he's a bodyguard. <laughs> wow, where'd you get that idea? <laughs> he is definitely on the higher ranking. After my father, the former Grand Duke, passed away, the Emperor eagerly awaited the chance to seize control of the dukedom. After all, else failed, I suspected he may have been at his wit's end, and sent that young girl here as his spy. <laughs> but when I remember the moment I met her, she appeared. Mm-hmm. Appeared. Hey. Surprised to see someone else there. Small and delicate 12 year old girl who looked as if she has never once wielded a sword. Yet yeah, her eyes bore the sharpness of someone who's been hardened by all the trials of life. That's why we're here to change time! Live at the Academy. It's getting a bit too boring. <laughs> that's me! Guys, that's good. That means it's good! 
given that it was a pajama party, it wasn't bound by standard formalities. Although no one noticed and missed all the fun, the quality of the bedding and snacks was exceptional. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't care about high rankings. All we care is about those sweets and pajamas. Oh yeah. This is a wonderful party, Diane. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for coming. If there's anything you need, please don't hesitate to tell the servants. Yeah, I thought it was just going to be them two, but... You know what? I'm not mad at it. Riz, is there anything you'd like to eat? Yeah, a big whole cake. If you know what I mean. I'm just kidding. Don't, 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 don't take it. Don't, don't. I think I've had my fill. Thanks for asking, though. Girl, I want to be eating. I don't... You guys don't know? I'm a foodie, okay? I want food. If I'm gonna be in a pajama party, the first thing I get is the food. <laughs> but to be honest, it's a strange feeling. I haven't done anything for you. So why are you so kind to me? Don't ask questions. You know what she reminds me of? I don't know if you guys have seen the anime Windbreakers yet. Just know that there's a boy who just isn't, who acts just like her. Oh, why are you so nice to me? People think I'm weird because I have two different color eyes and have different hair. Like, man, I wish I was you. Diane, Nell, thanks for inviting me. Both your hair styles look so pretty today. I was just going to say. Thanks, Angharad. Your looks nice, too. Oh, I just noticed she, she was like, mm, she jelly. <laughs> Thank you. I was wondering now. Hey, watch it. Oh. Oh, not the purple drink. Oh, that's cold. Uh. Pfft. Who? Who's laughing? Everyone, take a look at Anne Haran. She looks like some wet purple rat. It suits your hair ribbon, and heart. That's not even clever. Yeah, you look exactly like a soaked stray cat. Stop it! Yeah. Talk your shit, girl. Talk your shit. You apologize to her right now. What do you think you're doing when you're the one who spoiled the drink on her? Exactly, it was you. It was you, buddy. Uh, so sorry. Betty, take Angharad and find her a change of clothes. Yes, my lady. Okay, show's over. They'll be bringing out chocolate cake. Yes, bring that out! Nerys? Are you alright? You don't look so good. Uh, sorry, uh, PTSD. Guys, uh, it just, yeah, yeah, that, that brought bad memories. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sure it was awful seeing that. I'll ask them to bring you some warm milk with honey. Honey. <laughs> Watch me try that. I'm sure that will make you feel better. Kindness that comes without a cause is tempting, but it's wise to be cautious. After all, maybe she's... was... What? After all, maybe she was one of the children who mocked me in my past life. Is she? There's cookies made with rose jam and chocolate almonds. We can eat those and play cards. Unless you got Uno. Is that beating you? So please don't look so upset. Maybe just this once. I can trust the small act of kindness she's offering. Yes. Please. I bring that chocolate cake over here. What card game did you have in mind? Oh, there's this two-person game my father bought for me. I've always been alone, so perhaps it's okay for me to believe, just for now, that I have a friend. <laughs> so beautiful! That was just a cute episode. Like, she's just a good friend. She's just a good friend, guys. It's not about him, or it's about him. It's about her. <laughs> but yeah um she should be friends with her for this one yes this one time she should trust her 
It's just weird in the past life. It's where they weren't best friends and now they are. Maybe something happened at that time and she just wasn't that present. But Nerys, we now see you. We're coming for you too. And Blondie. Oh, I didn't forget about you, girl. We're only getting started. <laughs> and yes. Uh, the man who I thought was a bodyguard he's not <laughs> he is definitely a higher ranking but oh I am curious about him the issue is <laughs> we're kind of young for him but you know <laughs> not for me <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy that and if you did leave a like share subscribe and I'll see you guys next time